Fighters, three rounds, five minutes. Follow my instruction. If you won't touch gloves, go back to a corner. Good luck, man. Round one, fight! Again, it's always a question, right? Two elite grapplers coming together. Will we see them test their skills or will this end up being, you know, uniquely fought on the feet? Yeah, it's interesting to see the dynamics of this one. Gleesman coming out on control in the center of the octagon cage early. Like I said, Sibiech, an un unorthodox puzzle to solve. We even see that from the footwork early on. Switching stances, southpaw hook, feigning well, and he's just a, a brick of a man. Look at the size of him. Very, very wide across the chest and shoulders, powerful. And hard to take down, it's hard to get under him. Showing good movement now, low hands as well. Oh, Oy, his hands, big that's left a solid hand. left, yeah. Oh, Glissman trying to look for the clinch. Siviec charging in. Now Gets Glissman. that takedown, and that Glissman probably wanted that in that moment. But brutal is the nickname, and you can see why with this opening. Onslaught. Glissman oh, now trying to Glissman. switch up and look for an arm. He might look for the buggy choke from here as well, or he might look for the sweep. You never know on the ground with Glissman. He's so talented yeah. in these positions. And that's Sivjevic is a rock and solid, but you just don't know what's going to happen with these guys. One minute, 15 seconds down. We wondered if it would go to the mat. It certainly has. It went to the mat early, but after he landed that solid left hand, looking for the switch now. Glissman's so good on the ground. When you talk about elite black belts and the way they use it in mixed martial arts. Ray's dropping and rolling. These are the threats that he brings. Ends up on top. Wow. Yeah, beautiful work for that reversal. Siviec managed to get back to his feet, though. Interesting test here as he shucks out. Happy right. to grapple. Back to the switch. Look at these exchanges on top. Watch Scramble. Out and again, the technique. We saw it in the Kalashnik fight. Constant scramble there for maybe 40 seconds. Managed to get back to their feet. If I was Siviec, what I saw on the feet is where I'd want to try and take this fight, get away from this fence and land heavy, because I feel like he can outstrike Glizmo, because on the ground he's so smooth and so slick. But, oh, the mouthpiece has dropped out there from Glissman. But on the flip side, if you're Glissman, you want to keep this in close quarters, right? You've already tasted that Polish power. Yeah, but you could see they can match each other on the ground. That's what that was always the question. And we had so many exchanges. Oh. Sweet, a great takedown here from Siviec. Still the mouthpiece not being able to be replaced. You've got to find a fitting spot for it to happen. Look at him taking the back now. But he's happy to invert as he gets the back, gets the full back here of Gleesman. If Siviec can get a submission here, it'd be incredible. Oh, look at that. Glissman making space, trying to work his way, but that mount maintained there by... A beautiful Sibiech. regains the mount. Sibiech now trying to flatten his man out. Right in front of Stop. us in the commentary box. Again, Fight. his mouth pushed back in. Great work, work from our referee. Really good work from the referee. Allowed that to flow and play and then replaced it at the right time. Great pressure here from Sibiec. No back of it. No back of it. It's okay. No back of the head there from the referee. And the thing is about Glissman, he... he he could snap a submission out of anywhere. Calf slicer, yeah, exactly. rolling knee bar, all these different attempts. But you can see how he's threaded through that right leg. Watch him roll. This is the switch. He loves this now. But Sibiec aware of it and manages to ride to the back. Oh, Another scrambles. switch. What a exchange of positions there. And Glissman just showing the how class, good he is. The class, the class the level. is the right word. And it manages, but Sibiec is... is fighting every moment, every angle, every step at the moment now trying to step over. And also the exertion, they've got one minute, ten I have no left. idea how tired these guys are going to be when this round comes to an end. At the moment, controlling the belly, and yeah. Siviec manages to work his right knee all the way around, but needs to be careful he doesn't give yeah. up the back here. You can see Glissman is working for something, but you never know quite what with him, right? He can go every which way and pull out a threat. It might have Excellent. it here as well. Now, if he's going to roll over, he can look if, for a banana split. I was going to say. He could roll over that left shoulder. But Siviec kind of aware of it and sitting back, putting his weight back into yep. Glisman. But he's going to get the back here. Has that one hook on the right side. 35 seconds remain. He has a banana split on his record again against Melvin Van Soyman. Sorry, Julio Stretch. But now on the back, which is where you do not want Glisman. 
20 seconds left. Could maybe come out the back. Listen, I hope our judges know grappling. <laughs> I hope they have got their eyes on this because this has been so much fun to watch. But our judges will be tasked with scoring this round one way or the other. But the most significant moment, definitely still that left hand that opened up all the grappling at the beginning from Sivier. Yeah. Oh. Fight! So, Look. one round down, all three judges scored it to the Polish fighter, Siviec in the blue corner, Glissman in the red corner, work to do here in round number two, but big breaths as he got back to his feet. Big breaths from both men, though. Siviec has been te battle-tested with uh, durability and time, as you said, and that lands a good jab there, and a good oh. right hand. Solid right hand from Siviec. The sound echoes around the Festhardt Arena. And if you're landing shots like that, why are you grappling? Gleesman responds though, good hooks. Nice left hook there as well from Siviec on that check. Oh, look at that. Time to take down and worked his way straight to the back. And that's the thing with Gleesman. Any moment, any opening special in his grappling. That how he shucked him for the double and then all of a sudden landed on the back and now has four minutes to work here. Again, what a pace to start with Siviec with that heavy right hand. Glissman stepped back in the fire, then time in the, uh, the takedown attempt, worked to the back somehow, some way. Looking to invert himself here, Siviec trying to roll, doesn't want to give up any space. Gleesman now looking to try and get that hook in. So hard to get the hook in, look how compact Siviec is. Yeah, two on one here. Goes baseball bat, needs to be careful he doesn't give up the arm. Trying to turn into him. See, if he keeps control of this, this baseball out, this two on one on the wrist, he's not in such a bad situation for the chokes, but he's given up the position here in the three quarter amount almost. And, and Gleesman, look how he uses his head as a post. Oh, Doesn't Siviet's need his arm. Yeah. And Siviet switched sides, went out the other way, but gives up both hooks now. And again, Oof. Gleesman's got three minutes to work on the back, and this is his specialty. Deep here with this left, left hook. Durable is Siviec, but these little shots from Gleesman, he's just trying to utilize these to open up a choke attempt. Maybe has it here. Oh, has Siviec got a neck? That's the question. <laughs> like... If anyone can find it, that's the man on his back right now. Really? But right now, Siviec trying to work with that posting arm, display it's the balance of that. Uh, and, and when we talk about cardio, this is great rest now for Gleesman because he's so used to these positions and the power and the strength that he has in the grappling. He can relax here and just float and land shots. Siviec, the one who's going to have to do the hard work, but does a beautiful job there of giving up the mount and then managing to regain the half. Gleesman still on top, stuck to him. And again, the scorecards were all in favor of the Polish fighter. The blue corner there, Siviec. So this is a good start to the round for uh, Gleesman. Looking to level it up, if not get the finish here in round number two. And again, he got rocked on the feet at the beginning of the round like he did in the first, but this time has managed to come out on top in the grappling. I just don't understand why why Siviec is entertaining this when he's had such success on the feet. Looking to try and set up his own triangle, short He's so strong. In stature. His grip strength as well is uh, something to behold, but Glissman looking snapping past. Smooth pass, beautiful shoulder pressure. Now he wraps up that leg in this, this uh, half guard position on top. Could be here all day. And I could watch this all day. These two elite grapplers. I feel like a development from Gleesman definitely in the ground and pound. He doesn't look just like a grappler. Seems very open, happy to throw. And catching up with significant strikes has more now than Siviec in this round. And that'll be from this ground and pound position. Yeah, one minute, 10 seconds in round number two. Strong response to the first round from Glissman. And now Siviec has got that problem where he needs to needs to make something happen and try and stand to his feet, but needs to not give up his back as he does it. Now finds the cage. This could help him out. As he's on that one knee on the right side, needs to come a little bit higher, trying to take that left. Oh, I look, look like Glissman was trying to trap the arm as well. 45 seconds. There's a few whistles around the arena, but... When you understand what you are watching and, and the, you know, the micro movements that could open up. Huge the level up. here yeah. and then coming up to your feet and opening that space. When he's got full body lock on your back and has got pressure coming forward, he can shuck you back down. But Siviec, such a 
So, you know, such a strong stout. individual, and just oh, stout is yeah. a great word for him. Very hard to hold down. Oh, nice Drop knees there. Hurts those back to the back of the hamstring. Sivjic is happy here, maybe just to ride this round out. 15 seconds remain, it would even us up on the judges' scorecard going into the third round. And That's the questions that. were going to be asked of Gleesman's cardio, but right now, I would say this round has been so dominant <laughs> for Gleesman. Round three, fight! Eight of his nine victories are by finish. Six submissions, two knockouts. Elusive with his movement. Glissman seems intent on closing that distance. Let's see. Glissman threw a couple of hooks in the, in the second round that landed. Looks much more fluid on the feet than he did uh, at the Tipsport Game Changer last year. Like he said, six months off. Definitely been working his striking as he goes high with that left kick and then inside. Yeah, exhausted. But still dangerous. Still dangerous. Has that hey, one part. Oh, that's low. And that's going to help Sivietch now. He, he, he'll get a five minute break for that low hey. shot. And I, he should take every moment of it, I feel. Because the pressure of the two definitely looks like Lewis Gleesman. Yeah. Five minutes the referee allows him to know he has that medical timeout. We'll see if he should take it again. Oh, straight up there. Been a lot of cup shots tonight. Cool life. And taking this moment now to regain, regain his energy systems. The first round was such a, a brutal round of scrambles. Second round, he was dominated on the ground. So he needs yeah, the these breaths, every single one of them. Referee are letting him know he has the time should he want to take it. Looks in no rush, Luke, and that's sensible. Very sensible, veteran of the game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gives him a minute to recover, Fight. ready to get back in. And Glissman touches gloves and again brings the pressure. Watch for the overhand right, though. This the round that could decide, well, will decide it. One round apiece to each from all three judges. An absolute treat of a fight. Oh, everything that was... Oh, oh yeah, that, that, body cut. that hurt him, he's cut as well. Oh, Glissman. Bringing the pressure in round three, now looking for the takedown. The body shot hurt him, Luke. He's cut, but it's the body that really caused the and damage. And he went through it again, that two time nice spinning elbow there from Sivjic. Again, unorthodox, never know what's coming, but that, those body oh. shots hurt. And there's a big, big right hand from Gleesman. Came over the top, rock Sivjic. And now gets him back to the mat. Three minutes, 25 seconds for this to play with, and locking the arm in. Yeah, has this now with both legs. Is, loves these sort of attacks from the, this side. Unorthodox submissions. Such good awareness. Making Sivjic carry his weight as well. Those body kicks. Oh, kicks the legs out and then takes top position again. Taking the wind out of Sivjic and now needs to work. Back up to his feet, but difficult with Gleesman. Bearing down on him. Kicking that leg again, like a baseball bat, and pulling his weight over. You can see the blood now pouring from Sivjic as that far hook's taken. Sivjic again with that baseball bat, evading the choke. But running out of time here now, halfway through this round, and Gleesman definitely uh, dominating so far in the striking and on the ground. And with the most important criteria, damage. Causing damage, dominating yep. this third round. And now hunting for that choke, hunting for the finish, Luke. Yeah, this might even be underneath the jaw, can't see from these angles. But Sivjic, an extremely durable man, very difficult to finish. Oh, big shots, big shots to the side of the head there from Grisman. An outstanding performance from the man from Denmark. Lost round number one, came back strong in round two. And now look at that, piling on the pressure and dishing out the damage in round number three. They go oh, he's got the that on the chin. But Sivjic, no giving this man as he bows away, 2v1, gets those hips out. Great work from him to evade another submission attempt. But getting battered here and 
Griezmann it seems to you know been enriched with energy from his victory at the moment momentum on his side minute and 20 seconds for Sivjec to, to try and change it yeah Joaquin Christensen talked to me about the condition of, of Glissman said it's the best shape he's been in and it's evident, right? In a fight like this, again, that adjective grueling is used so much in MMA, but this is as grueling as it comes. Fast exchanges up against a tough grappler, holding down what is a Polish bear, but rising to the occasion is Glissman. Yeah, and Sibiet's constantly searching for a way out. Every little micro movement, trying to get the elbows in the right position, trying to get his feet to elevate, trying, trying to you know, create space any way he can. But Gleesman just always one step ahead as we go into the final minute. Thirty seconds left. Go to the north-south position now. Now to side control. Riding his opponent. Hanging on to that leg is Sivia. She's trying to work that free, but that just allows Gleesman to adjust position, stay on the back. Squirming now as Sivjets trying to find an opening. Only has 10 seconds left. Gleesman going to open up now, maybe. Stop! Ladies and gentlemen, let's see how judges score this fight. 29, 28, 29, 27, and 29, 27. All for the winner. By unanimous decision. Luis Spartacus Griezmann!